So yeah, so there's something interesting that you brought up about um, the nature of medicinal plants. Often if there's something that hurts you, there's something that helps you that grows near it. Um, and it's, it's kind of interesting that that worked out that way. I mean, uh, but if you're, if you're in a wet area, like a soggy wet area where you would be susceptible to like foot fungus, a lot of the plants that grow in a wet area uh, have some astringent properties or drying properties. So it's kind of interesting that you can, you know, you can use that. Um, river birch uh, is kind of a, we don't, it's not really here, um, but if you get closer to Canada, river birch isn't the big paper birch that, you know, they'd make canoes out of. It's the one that's got the real fine, like, tissue paper bark. It looks like it's kind of been, you know, like, torn <coughs> tissue paper all over it. Um, grows with its feet wet and will often grow right at the edge of the water, you know. So you wouldn't anticipate something like that to burn, but you can take the bark and, it, and you can actually just, it can catch a spark, you know. It can actually ignite from a spark rather than an open flame. Um, so, you know, oftentimes there's kind of a there's kind of a balance, yes. Out in the wild, if you see uh, poison ivy, you'll usually find jewelweed close by. And yeah. if you put jewelweed on poison ivy right away, you won't get poison ivy then. Yeah, the jewelweed's like yay big right now. Um, so it might be hard to find, like... It's kind of a summer plant. Um, otherwise, I'd kind of jump right on jewelweed. But you know, like I said, it's yay big. Um, we can, uh, um, so what's the antidote for this? A <laughs> uh, hospital, probably your stomach pump. Uh, <laughs> I mean, ask Socrates. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that, that's good. I I don't even want to. I don't even want to touch it. I mean, this can cause dermatitis. You know, you can get a skin what reaction. That? What is that? This is that's a. Uh, this is. <laughs> this is poison hemlock. Oh, right. um, so this is Socrates' bane. This is this is what um, this is what killed Socrates. And yeah, this is the actual. We got two types of poison hemlock. Now this is not the hemlock tree. Um, a lot of people kind of get that confused, especially if you're not real familiar with plants. Um, this is the uh, this is the plant hemlock, and we've got water hemlock in Ohio and poison hemlock. Water hemlock usually stays along creek sides, um, things like that. The poison hemlock can be uh, disturbed fields, and we'll often, you'll find it in big clumps. Compost piles, for some reason, it just thrives. Um, I've seen it in big clumps around compost piles. Um, but it's a member of a pretty big family. Celery. Uh, well, yeah, the carrot family, umbellifera, uh, which also includes celery, parsley, um, carrots, Queen Anne's lace, um, parsnips, uh, callus parsnip, which is another, which is another poisonous plant, but this is a, so poison hemlock, and it's, I can never remember its genus name, but its species name is maculata, because it's got these little spots, and maculata means spotted, um, just immaculate means without spots, so, um, the, uh, this is maculata, it's got these little crimson spots, and it's got a, it's got a fetid smell to it, um, which I, I can't really, I can't really smell right now. Again, I've, like I said, I've got allergies, but um, feel free. I will warn you though, um, this plant can cause just a minor skin irritation. Um, but as far as I know, I see little crimson spots. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, it really is. Um, that's what I look for. If I'm harvesting Queen Anne's lace, they look similar. Um, if I'm harvesting Queen Anne's lace. If it doesn't have spots, you know, and Queen Anne's lace smells like carrot. I mean, you can break it, and it smells like carrot. This yeah. does not. Queen Anne's lace has a hard stem on yeah. its stalk, and that's just a soft, pulpy one. But, right, but uh, but, um, so I, you know, I mentioned that 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 the poison hemlock like compost piles. Mm -hmm. um, you can see it's really it's everywhere uh, here. It was great. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's. Again, there are no good or bad plants. This is just, it's, it's pretty poisonous, you know, like it's serious stuff. Again, that, that was what killed Socrates, you know, he drank a cup of it, and that's, so, identification's pretty important as far as 